All right, what's going on, guys? We're back again with another VIP on the channel, and today we are back on another Dragon Ball Legends video. And I know you see something a little bit different in the background. I did change up my setup quite a bit. I did move things around, stuff. So now, you know, I'm kind of up against the walls. So have these two posters behind me. So I think this looks quite a bit better than what it used to. But yeah, anyways, we are going to be doing a tier list video today. Obviously, the obligatory, not really obligatory. I just like to do these. Uh, monthly LF tier list. Now, obviously, we're going to be including uh, Ultra Gogeta in this list. I'm not going to be including any of the other Ultras, at least for this list. I don't know. Maybe you guys, if you want to see me rank uh, all the Ultras as well, uh, I can probably do that starting from the next LF tier or next tier list in general. But in this one, I'm going to be ranking all the LFs alongside Ultra Gogeta just because I think it makes the most sense and all this stuff. So there's that. Yeah, let's just get straight into it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like down below and also sub to the channel notification bell to never miss out on upload. And without further ado, let us hop in to the tier list. All right, we have the tier list pulled up here with every LF here in the game, as well as Ultra Gogeta, as you can see here. Uh, real quick disclaimer, just to get it out of the way early. This is my personal opinion. This is my takes on all these units stuff. You don't have to agree. If you want to, you know, leave your opinions or thoughts and stuff down in the comments, you know, maybe have a bit of discussion. There's that. Just want to get that out of the way. Uh, so I do have my previous tier list pulled up right here. So this is the tier list I made last month. Uh, obviously Goku Vegeta being number one and stuff, Trunks being in Z tier and stuff. I, I actually thought that I wasn't going to change it that much from last month. I thought the main things I was going to change was the fact that uh, Super Vegeta was going to get bumped up to the higher tiers and then obviously whatever new unit we got for part two, I was going to place assuming in the higher tiers as well bump my desk but uh, no it's actually gonna change a decent bit uh, at least i hope uh, or not a hope a thing whatever we have cell as in first unit again uh now cell in the last tier list i did have an ss tier uh, unfortunately i think cell is gonna drop quite a bit uh, he has aged it's been what like two months a little over two months as he came out and he's aged quite a bit unfortunately uh cell just he just ain't it. I did use him pretty recently, and he did okay. He definitely did okay. Didn't do terrible. It's just the problem with him is he's built around countering a specific meta, which is obviously, you know, he was at his peak against the hybrid Saiyan meta because he's built around doing extra damage against hybrids and stuff. But we are no longer in that meta. We've already swapped metas very quickly, so therefore Cell just... He's in, in his best situation right now. Now, like I said, that doesn't mean he's bad. He's just not the best in this meta he's just he's not that great right now so i'm gonna drop him down to a tier i know it's quite a drastic drop but i feel like all of us can agree that cell is just age like he he's not that great he also he takes a bit too long to kind of get going and stuff because you have to fill up some unique gauge and until you do that he's not really obviously doing his max amount of damage and stuff he also doesn't really tank the greatest even with the unique gauge he still can take quite a bit of damage i've definitely noticed that even at six stars he just he just isn't the greatest right now he's aged a bit it's, it's sad to say the perfect being is definitely not as perfect as uh, he once was but it is what it is. Second unit we have is Vegito Blue. Now Vegito Blue in the last tier list had an A tier. I'm very tempted to have him in A tier again, but I think I'm gonna drop him down to B tier. Um just because uh he's aged. He's still decent at higher stars, he definitely can still be pretty solid and stuff, but obviously he's like a year and a half old by now. He's he's aged obviously god key definitely isn't the greatest team fusion warriors he had value before just because fusion Warriors he was their best blue unit but now the fusions finally got a brand new blue unit being ultra gogeta who's very 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 good uh he's just his values just decreased quite a bit and stuff so there's that we're gonna drop him in b tier uh father son kami i'll go on uh he's gonna drop down honestly yeah, test here. I know it's quite a big drop for uh, who was once hailed as the best unit in the game, but I think in this meta, he's just not as valuable. He's not as powerful and stuff. Hybrid Saiyans, the Hybrid Saiyan meta is over and stuff. We've just gotten better units. Mono purples running around like crazy. Now we have mono blue teams and stuff with Ultra Gogeta. He's just not the greatest right now. He's definitely aged, which I would say him aging is a good thing because we shouldn't have an LF Zenkai from over a year ago still be the best unit in the game. That should not happen, all right? So it's a good thing he's aging. Because his damage, when he's last man standing and stuff, he's going to definitely still be good. But it's, it's not as crazy as it once was. His tank is okay. I've also been seeing people like throw him on random teams and stuff. And a message to all those people, don't do that, alright? Just don't bother putting FSK on 
any random team. It's not going to work out. You're basically just running a nerfed version of the character who even at his peak, he's not even the craziest. So there's that. I don't know. I think he just, he, he's aged. So we're going to drop another test here, whatever. Uh, I want to try and go kind of quick in this video. I said that last time, but it still ended up being like 40 plus minutes long. We'll see. Uh, full power freeze. I'm actually going to move up to SS tier. Now, last time he was an S tier, but he has seen a drastic uh, increase of value in this meta uh, for the last month or so. Him nullifying endurance, him being yellow, so he's a good counter against mono purple and stuff. You know, him doing good damage and stuff. You know, okay defensively. That's not, definitely not the craziest defensively. Uh, his blue cards definitely can do a lot of damage. You know, that AoE massive impact damage. Him restoring vanish on his uh, main ability. Him uh, lowering sub count his green card and stuff. Like, he's overall a very good unit. I'm actually glad that he's. Uh, seeing quite a bit of play because he was definitely quite underused and it's also because of the fact that LOE just hasn't seen the light of day for like ages. We are actually, at the time of recording this, we did finally get the uh, details for the free to play uh, first form Frieza, who seems solid, but I don't think he's really enough to make the team super good. So, but yeah, full power Frieza seeing quite a bit of a jump obviously due to the current meta and stuff. So there's that. So I do think he's worthy of being in SS tier, at least for now. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is in Z tier still. He's just super valuable. Even in a mono purple dominant meta, he still can hold his own going type neutral multiple times. His anti revive his anti revive mechanic is very, very good. Pretty much anytime you're up against a revival character, you wanna bring him just because you're getting those four Dragon Balls and the 20% healing. And if you happen to have a perfect roll in that last slot for his plot equip, he's getting 50% damage on top of that too. So it's just, it's crazy. As well as also now we have Ultra Gogeta, you know, being super dominant in the meta right now and a lot of blue units. He's gonna have type advantage over them. So he's a very good counter against them. So Gogeta's overall right now is very, very valuable, easily one of the most valuable units right now. Crazy to think he was the headline anniversary unit and he wasn't that great initially on release and now look at him like six months later and now him being like, I would say maybe a top three unit in the game maybe. So yeah, big ups to the boy Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Next we have Future Gohan who I still think is Z tier. It's just too valuable to support. The disrupt, the card draw speed, all that stuff, the endurance, like, He's just very good. Him obviously being a good counter against Mono Purple as well is definitely solid. Even though there are a lot of uh, endurance units running around or anti-endurance units or whatever, he's he's just he's too good. He just does so much for the teams and stuff. So there's that. My boy Majin Vegeta uh, coming in. He's still a tier, I think. Uh, Majin Vegeta honestly has aged quite well. I would say Majin Vegeta honestly is probably one of the best aging units in the game, to be honest. I did do a video on him somewhat recently. He definitely did okay in that video. Didn't do like the craziest, but I would say he, he he's doing okay right now. He's definitely in a situation where he could use a Zenkai, but he doesn't really need it. Obviously, if he got one, he would be very good, but I definitely don't think he needs a Zenkai, but he could definitely use it at this point. So there's that. not really much else to say about Majin Vegeta. He's just holding up pretty well at this point, honestly. So there's that. Uh, we have LF Piccolo next to... I would say it's probably around the same place. I'll probably put an S here. Actually, I'll probably put a, a above. Oh yeah, I'm, uh, I, I'm kind of forgetting I'm ranking these in the individual tiers. Uh, yeah, I'll do this for now, just because Vil- uh, Piccolo, what the heck was I about to say? Uh, Piccolo just has more value- val- oh my god, I can't talk- Piccolo has more value in this meta currently, just because of the mono purple and all this stuff being dominant. Uh, he can nullify endurance on his blue card, but, I mean, he's- he has the ability to nullify endurance, can be pretty tanky, can output some good damage has good utility with the uh, Vanish Restoration on Transformation and stuff. He does provide a little bit of support, but it's nothing too crazy. Just Piccolo is definitely pretty solid in this meta, but definitely not anything crazy. Definitely on a regen team, your main yellow is obviously going to be uh, DKP, but you can do a setup with uh, Zenkai DKP, uh, this LF Piccolo, and uh, Fat Boo as like a yellow, yellow, green team. Definitely can be a pretty solid counter against the meta and all stuff. So. Gives him extra bonus points for that. So therefore, I do think he's S tier. So let's just move on to the next unit. Kid Boo. Kid Boo is definitely, I honestly forget he even exists in this game just because I never see anyone use him. Like, I don't remember the last time I fought against a Kid Boo. He's definitely still solid, but he's just, 
I just don't know how well he holds on this meta. Like, in the way he works, obviously, is like he has like this like infinite vanish like type mechanic where like he can restore his vanish a ton of times and all stuff. And yeah, if you know how to play with him well, you get really lucky with him and you're able to like not get him hit, you know, not allow him to take hits and stuff. He can look crazy and keep him in the battlefield and all stuff. He's ramping up damage, he's just throwing out cards and stuff like he can look really good but obviously the second he gets hit especially in this meta he just dies that's it also blue in terms of regen i definitely do think they need a new blue blue unit at this point so i don't know kid boo stuff really just he's just aged a little bit at this point and just doesn't have as much value as he used to so i'm just gonna drop him down to eight here probably right here actually yeah there's that revival gohan uh revival gohan last time was where was he he was z tier uh, he's still very good, very valuable unit and all stuff. It's just the problem is we have so many anti-revive mechanic uh, units that it kind of hurts him a bit, but he's still valuable. In terms of if I would keep him in Z tier, I actually think I'm going to drop him down to SS tier, but the top of SS tier. Uh, he's still very good though, even with the fact that there's a ton of anti-revive mechanic units, there's just... He, the revive mechanic is useful still, and obviously he himself as a unit providing a bit of support with his main ability pre-revival, him doing pretty good damage stuff, especially once he transforms, like once he transforms, he's still a crazy unit and stuff, very capable. It just obviously, you know, with the fact that anti-revive units exist, he's obviously, his value is kind of decreasing a little bit, so therefore that's the main reason why I think he drops down a tier, as well as also just there's other teams are just better to run right now rather than running you know any teams that you run him on and stuff so there's that uh gogeta blue uh i'm tempted to either put him in a tier or keep him where he was at the bottom of s he has value still i did do a video on him recently he's definitely still good he is a decent counter against mono purple because he has type advantage against them obviously the special cover change nullification stuff is still very valuable i i don't is he better than cell yeah i would say he's better you know what uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him in the bottom of S for now at least. I, I can change I, I might change it up later. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Gogeta's definitely still good. He's obviously aged, but he still has value and stuff. And honestly, for how old he is, like a year old in this game with how immense power creep is and stuff, I would say he's aged pretty well. It's just I don't know. Just because of the fact that he actually still has like some good value and stuff, I'll give him some extra bonus points. Maybe it might also be my bias towards him just because I like him, but I don't know. I mean, then again, it is my opinionated tier list, so whatever. We're just gonna leave him there for now. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, for once he actually has my respect, and for once he won't be put in B tier. He's actually gonna be put in. Actually, damn, I didn't think about this. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna be put in at the top of it. Is he better than Cell? You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna put him above Cell. <laughs> I'm gonna put him above Cell, actually. I think he honestly has more value now. Uh, mono purple and stuff. Um, even against Ultra Gogeta, he can still do decent. His plot equip definitely made him a lot better. Definitely not Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta level, but obviously the main reason for that is just because Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's base kit is just better than Super Saiyan 4 Goku's base kit, so there's that. But definitely his plot equip. Honestly, in the video I did with him, for a three star, for my three star LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku to be putting in as much work as he did in that video, I'm actually quite impressed with how like he is now. His damage is definitely quite a bit more impressive and stuff. Tanking definitely isn't the craziest still, especially at lower stars, but it's better. He does have a, he does have a bit of utility with the uh, special cover change or the, the cover rescue that he has, which is definitely nice to have. His ultimate definitely can hit quite hard and nullify endurance. So that's definitely quite valuable to have now in this meta. I just think he's actually like, pretty solid now like now he can actually be considered a runnable option on his teams that while before he was just not even considered at all so he's definitely had quite a bit of a an upgrade for sure but definitely not the craziest so therefore i'm just gonna put him on the top of a tier goten goten's just a weird unit he's just he never sees play obviously because of this dude but i'm actually just gonna put him in b tier to be honest I, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna put him in B tier just because you never see him like you never see him is he just isn't there He himself as a unit is actually pretty decent, you know, he's actually pretty good, but it's just 
you never really get an opportunity to run him just because the fact that Revival Gohan exists and he's just like a million times better. That's it. That's really it. Th there's not much else I need to say about Goten, so let's just move on. Uh, this dude as well. This dude is now actually the worst LF in the game. You know, Super Vegito was beforehand, but obviously now he's gotten Zenkai. So now we're still waiting this dude Zenkai, so let's see what happens, I guess. Ape Vegeta. Uh, Ape Vegeta. There's been a decent talk about him lately, whether or not he's like just straight up garbage or he's like actually really good and stuff. I'm, he's definitely not the craziest, especially right now. You know, now we have this dude running around in the meta. Uh, he's, especially the fact that my graded Vegeta is only three stars, so obviously, and I haven't really used him lately, but I've seen gameplay of him and stuff. Just, he's definitely not the craziest right now for this meta, so I'm actually just gonna put him here and eight here i guess his damage he does take a little bit to ramp up and even when maxed out you know his damage isn't the absolute craziest his tanking is just not there he has endurance which is nice but his tanking is not that great so it's very likely he can honestly still probably get one comboed in this meta even with endurance and also we have a lot of anti-endurance units running around right now so it's just not that great for him he does have utility obviously with the endurance as well as also uh the green card aoe knockback that green card is with a special cover change notification. He, uh, his blue card does lower his own sub count, which is definitely very nice, has blast armor. He does do additional damage against blue units, but it doesn't really help him out that much just because he still types advantage against them. He does have dam he does have damage reduction, but it's, a lot of his damage reduction is like locked away, you know, against certain conditions. Like he gets certain damage reduction uh, when he's fighting against Sun Family specifically. And also when uh, the opponent throws out like a special move or an ultimate card or something, I don't know. He's just, he's a weird unit. He's just, I don't know. He's just not the absolute craziest right now. So there's that. So he's in A tier. Uh, UI Goku, I hate to say it, but my boy is just, uh, he's aged. I'm just gonna put him, I'm gonna put him there, yeah. <laughs> he's definitely aged. Like I, I was trying to defend him, I still, kind of like don't think he's as bad as people say i don't know he's aged he's aged i've i have to admit it all right corrupted zamazu corrupted zamazu i'll say you could definitely make a case for him being probably the best red unit in the meta red is definitely not in the best situation right now for sure but uh zamazu himself as a unit is definitely pretty solid for sure um he can he can do pretty good damage and stuff tanking at higher stars can actually be decent um but obviously at lower stars, I'm going to be the craziest and stuff. Uh, his green card is good with an AoE knockback and all that stuff. He can heal quite a bit as he combos once he falls below a certain HP threshold. He does have to stack up damage though. He's definitely one of those units that have to ramp up, uh, you know, as he combos and stuff. But overall, overall, I think he's actually still solid and stuff. So I'm going to put him in the bottom of S tier actually. Do I? I'm going to put him here actually. I, I'm going to put him below Gogeta Blue just because I feel like Gogeta Blue has a little bit more value than Zamazu, at least right now, but they're close, I don't know. LF Super Saiyan 3 Goku uh, was one C tier, but I definitely don't think he's E tier now. Uh, obviously, Mono Purple being a thing, he's just not the greatest unit to face. Obviously, Mono Purple being a thing, so obviously not a great matchup against them at all, since he has types advantage. He does go type neutral, but it's only for 10 counts on his main ability, so he, only can, do it, he can only do it once. He does take a little bit to ramp up and stuff, which just... It's not that great right now in this meta. He's still a good unit, but it's just, he, he's aged a bit, unfortunately, at this point. Uh, so we're gonna put him probably, ah. Uh, you know, I'm gonna do this just because he has value still. And I mean, also Ultra Gogeta running around, we're just gonna get to next. Because honestly, I'm just gonna put Beerus right here, honestly, yeah. I don't have to say anything about Beerus, he's aged, that's it. Uh, but <laughs> Super Saiyan 3 Goku, he has value just against fighting this dude, I guess. He can be a solid counter, because if you can catch this Gogeta with, the, with his ultimate, once you've built up a couple buffs, he can potentially one-shot him, but it's very situational. I don't know, he, he's definitely still solid, but just, he's aged a bit, and the meta isn't that great for him, so there's that. I Ultra Gogeta, finally, we're here. I was taking a while. Uh, how long have I been recording for? Actually, I haven't been recording for that long, so I've actually been doing pretty good at uh, moving a bit faster than usual, so I'm actually happy about that. Uh, Ultra Gogeta, um, I think it's pretty obvious. We're going to put him. No jokes. Best unit in the game. That's all I got to say. He is too powerful. Uh, he, he just does so much. Man. Where do I begin? Uh, I guess we can talk about how much damage he just outputs. Like, 
his combos can go on for so long. And the fact that almost every combo he does, he can guarantee to end it off with a blue card. Like, he chucks out so many special moves. It's ridiculous. And the fact that he destroys your cards with every one just makes it so annoying because you do a full combo with him, end it with a special move almost every time guaranteed. Which, by the way, every time he draws a special move with this unique gauge, he's healing, so he's constantly healing like during the match, he's getting damage buffs and he's getting extra damage reduction. His blue card destroys your hand, so therefore after he does a long combo and all this stuff, your opponent can't do anything immediately because they don't they have no cards in their hand, so they have to wait until they draw a card to be able to actually initiate or anything. So besides that, his tanking is actually pretty decent. Obviously he does that 50% cut just straight up as soon as the battle starts. His stats are actually like really hot. Like, his stats are insane. Makes sense obviously because ultras do have quite high stats. Even the free play ultras do have pretty good stats. It's just obviously their their kits are just not as good as Gogeta's. The fact that also every time an ally dies, he locks the opponent in for five counts and he goes type neutral for 10 counts. That is just so broken. Like they did, <laughs> that is just too much. And also the fact that um his green card nullify special cover changes, he removes enemies buffs and stuff. Like he has blast armor, his strike cards, like his ultimate does a ton of damage. The one thing I will say about him though, is he doesn't have any ways, uh, especially on his ultimate of uh, penetrating through a sustained damage cut. So definitely there are times that his ultimate may not hit as hard as maybe you would want it to or as other units and stuff, but it still hits incredibly hard. He does nullify endurance for 30 counts upon activation of the ultimate. So even if you don't manage to finish off a unit with endurance, in, like with the ultimate, you still have endurance nullification for the next like 30 or so counts. So you, you can still nullify endurance even afterwards. And the fact that you can draw up to two ultimates, granted the second ultimate you get once your last man's standing, but still like, that itself is just crazy because he can dish out so much damage with that. Like he is, he, he, he's just broken. That's it. He's just crazy. Undeniably the best unit in the game. Like the only unit that really comes close to his power is Goku Vegeta, which I would still say Gogeta's He's just the best unit in the game, easily, by far, that's it. Right, enough talk about Gogeta. Let's actually move on to Evolution Blue Vegeta. Uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta is definitely a good unit. It's just... He's very situational, so his teams are just not the absolute craziest. God Key mainly being not the craziest right now, they definitely need help. Uh, but Evolution Blue Vegeta, he's just, if you get him going, you know, him getting below that 35, uh, 35 uh, key threshold, you know, stacking up those constant damage buffs and getting a ton of key and stuff, making the enemy swap a ton. Like, if you're getting that scenario with him, he's he's crazy, he's crazy good. Then he also has an anti-revive mechanic of where he, if he causes a character to revive, he goes type neutral for 30 counts and destroys two of their Dragon Balls. Like, that's very good. It's just, it's very situational. And also his tanking is just, for a character being advertised as near false defenses can't i still can't believe they actually even bothered to say about that about him but for a character that's advertised having good defenses he definitely is far from that he does not tank that well at all even at high stars he's definitely a good unit but just not the absolute craziest and it's definitely very situational and his teams are just not the absolute craziest so he's going to be in s tier do i put him? i'm gonna put him on top of s tier whatever i don't know all right goku Vegeta. uh Second best unit in the game. <laughs> Goku Vegeta, even though Ultra Gogeta is the best unit in the game now, Goku Vegeta is still crazy good, by the way. Don't like the fact that they're just constantly healing as they combo, their combo's gonna go on for a while because they have they can get card draw speed easily. They just chuck out so many blue cards as well. They do so much damage and stuff like that. Like they're just they're just crazy. Like them being able to swap their like you know, their types advantage and disadvantage, like Goku being type advantage over green units and Vegeta being type advantage over yellow units. Like, like that's why Mono Purple is so powerful right now because of the fact that you don't really have to worry about yellow units countering your team because you have this unit. You swap into Vegeta and just annihilate them in one combo. Like, that's how powerful they are. They nullify special cover changes when you swap into Vegeta as well, which is powerful, like, like, they're, they just do so much. They're just, they're too good, <laughs> all right? And they're super annoying to fight against this stuff, so they, they're they definitely easily, like, if Gogeta, before Gogeta dropped, they're definitely the best here in the game, but obviously Gogeta's just way better than him. So therefore, Goku and Vegeta are the second best here in the game, so there's that. Uh, LF, full power, Frieza, full power, Frieza, what? LF, first form, Frieza. Uh, 
definitely isn't the craziest right now. I'm also gonna put him, I'm gonna put him at the very bottom of S tier just because of the fact that Ledge of Evil is not the craziest. I mean, we'll see what happens with this free to play first form freeze i guess is dropping uh his support is definitely nice i mean you can run him on like some other teams and potentially make some interesting team builds with him as your leader and then you know him providing the support to any other like powerful unit like honestly you could put him like a fusion warrior team with ultra gogeta and just pair him up you know with frieza and like have that support going and the extra blue cards like as if gogeta didn't throw out enough blue cards already he's gonna throw out like twice as many with that setup Actually, damn, that'd be a good setup, man. I I don't have Frieza Zenkai fully, at least. I kind of wish I did, because I'll be able to make some fun team builds with him and all that stuff, but it is what it is. Frieza, I definitely think, is okay right now, but definitely not the craziest. There's that. Broly. Uh, Broly, I think, is at the top of beating it. He, he bought me, whatever, I don't know. He's he's still solid, he definitely can do decent right now. It's just obviously, again, same thing with Evolution Blue Vegeta, he's very situational. Definitely if you get him paired up with Bardock, like, he still can look, he can still look crazy, obviously with the Super Saiyan buffs and all that stuff, but obviously that's really it on his other teams. He still can do pretty good and stuff, but it mainly depends on how the opponent plays and all that. If they're not really swapping against him and and all that, he's not the craziest, so he's just aged. Definitely Gogeta's aged way better than him, though, so I don't know. He's he's bottom of it, I guess. Alright, Super Vegito. Super Vegito got a massive power-up with the Zenkai Awakening. Uh, I honestly think he is Z-tier. Now, where does he place within Z-tier? I think he's probably bottom Z-tier. Maybe you can make a case he's probably SS-tier or something, but I think he's actually Z-tier worthy. Like, I still see people like say Vegito isn't that crazy with the Zenkai. I just... Vegito definitely isn't the most, like, absurd unit ever, you know, at least outside of Mono Purple. But he's still very, very good. Like, the more I've used him, the more impressed he, I am. He can dish out a, like, long calm and stuff. He's getting stronger as he combos and stuff. Like, definitely at, a, like, at the start of a match and, you know, before he ramps up, you know, a ton of buffs and stuff, he's definitely not the absolute craziest. But it's once he gets going, which he can ramp up pretty quickly, he just... He's so good. His tanking definitely isn't the absolute craziest, even on the Fusion Wear team. And if you have his plot equip and stuff, like, definitely isn't the craziest, but it's decent. He has utility with the, uh, you know, removing buffs on his main ability. He gets a level two card draw speed on his main ability, so he can just chain a long combo and then dish out that ultimate, which his ultimate hits really hard still. And also, the fact that he has card draw speed permanent when he enters the battlefield. And then also, he guaranteed draws a card when he enters battlefield. Like, that is insane. Because that means, like, he's just going to be able to combo for so long every time. Then he also has the special cover change against the uh, strike cards and the fact that he can combo off the blue card. I see a lot of people just throw out his blue card thinking it's a short animation that they're able to dodge it. But keep in mind, his blue card is a long animation. So if you try that, you're not going to be able to make it work, unfortunately. So yeah, I think Vegito, obviously, especially now that Mono Purple as well is a prominent team and he's, you know, a core option that team, it definitely gives him a lot more value. So he is definitely Z tier in my opinion. So there's that. Sword of Hope Trunks as well, I do think is Z tier. Now, where does he place within Z tier? I definitely do think he's quite a bit better than what I initially thought of him. My opinion on Trunks has definitely changed a decent bit. He's definitely a lot better than what I initially thought. Because initially, obviously, when I made the last tier list, I didn't really use him that much, at least to get a proper opinion on him. So obviously now I've played with him quite a bit more and I've seen more of what he can do and I actually have my higher stars now and stuff. So he is definitely very good. Now, I still think he's probably the on the lower end of Z tier, probably. Is he better than Future? Maybe I should drop down Future Gohan. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do this actually. I'm going to drop down Future Gohan. Future Gohan is definitely very good. I don't eh, I will we'll leave it at this. I don't know. Uh, sort of Trunks definitely very good. He can, you know, do good damage. He can actually tank decently well. Once he gets his unique gauge filled up, at that point, as car draw speed, he does even more damage. His ultimate, I still think his ultimate definitely, with his unique gauge fully built up, he probably still has the hardest hitting ultimate in the game by far. And also, he's a very capable last man standing unit. And also, the fact that his ultimate goes type neutral as well at that point. It's definitely very good. He has a cover change against strike cards. He can come off the blue card, his green card, be able to uh, give him more damage, refresh his hand and stuff, fill up his unique gauge. He's definitely very good. Like, he's overall very good unit, but definitely not as crazy as like 
Goku and Vegeta and Ultra Super Gogeta and stuff. So there's that. There's what I would rate Trunks and all stuff. Uh, LF Rose, I'm actually going to put here. Or do I put him? I'm actually very tempted to do this because Rose has a lot of value right now just because of the fact that a lot of endurance units are running around and stuff. And I mean, he um, himself, I know Rose is a very mixed character because, you know, a lot of people think he's really good and there's others that think he's not that good and he's pretty mid and stuff. I think he's definitely pretty good. I think I have to move him up. I think... I definitely don't really see Rose that much, but he still has value. I'm just... The main thing about him is like... I could put him here. Oh, this is tough, you know. This is kind of tough. I haven't really used Rose recently, and I haven't really fought against him, but he does have value because of the endurance nullification. The cover change is nice. The blue card doing AoE damage and stuff. Uh, to the old team, him going type neutron as well. Him having that extreme bleed can chip away quite a bit of health uh, during his combos and even after them. Him potentially destroying Dragon Balls, even though he does have the highest chance ever. I'm gonna put him here. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna put him there for now. I don't know, man. Uh, I just, I don't really see him that much even now. I can't really give a proper opinion. I haven't really used him that much, but he definitely has value for sure. So I, I'm gonna put him there. I don't know. Uh, Namek Goku, final unit we have here and we can move on. Uh, I'm gonna put bottom of S again. Just, just, same thing as last time. He's just, he's very situational. Like. If you're a very experienced Namek Goku player, he's very good. He probably shoots up to like up here or something. But if you're not the best with him, he's not that crazy stuff. I don't know. I'm not the absolute greatest Namek Goku player. I can play with him decent, but I don't really use him that much. So I don't know. I think he's just, he's there, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, there's that. Uh, try to move a bit quicker with this tier list. Uh, recording still ended up being 40 minutes long. So obviously when I, I'm going to edit it down and stuff, so it's going to be a bit shorter than that, but it's probably going to be like 30 plus minutes. So I'm fine with that. Uh, but there's the tier list. Uh, so definitely qu quite a bit different actually than last time. Like I said, initially, I didn't think it was going to change that much so yeah there's that uh like i said at the beginning this is my opinion tier list you don't have to agree with anything i say you know if you want we can have a bit of discussion in the comment section down below i don't know but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do make sure down below and also sub to the channel notification bell to never miss out on upload and also follow my twitter link down below at scoring three as you can uh, clearly see down here you know and yeah with that being said hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see y'all in the next one peace out have a great one y'all